855 arrival, five minutes, 2.2 miles. Oh, there's Christ Chapel. The little camp is. Oh, they got a little library. Place for uh, certain people to do paperwork in the parking lot in their vehicle. Which I don't know if they if that's approved or not, but yeah, what difference does it make? They should have their own little places they can do that at, rather than church parking lots. But I'm sure the churches are are very welcoming to that kind of thing, you know. When they're in Christ and they're in law, but I could, they could be in both. I don't know. You never really know. Who am I to judge? But anyway, that's that was a Christ Chapel. That's probably maybe a section of it, or maybe that's part of it. Maybe, I don't know, I have to look. I gotta drop off this pizza instead. So obviously you know where the show's going. It's got the neighborhood with the with the pizza and the Italian food. Cause that's the way it goes. At least for right now. Be our guest. Pretty nice Airbnb, great poker game. It's not exactly the Autobahn. Nine twenty five six three point three. All right, arrival will be 10.05, 11, 4.7. All right, guys, if you're looking for Cidercade, you just stay on 8th Avenue past this auto zone, and it's right tucked in. You, you kind of miss it a little bit, but it's right over on the other side of auto zone next to the tracks. This is 8th Avenue right here. And that is, I don't know where Canty is. I'll just show you right here. That's Canty and 8th Avenue. Cidercade's like right up here. If you're new in town, everyone's talking about Cidercade. Play arcade games and I guess drink cider. I'll probably just have soda. I don't know. I accidentally took a sip of Linda's beer the other night. I was in a it's supposed to be in a Coke Zero thing. I was like, what is, oh my gosh. Because I never really drink. But actually, you know, I, 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 I took a sip of it and I was like, oh great. But I'm not gonna accidentally smoke her cigarettes, that's for sure. All right, you know the story. My friend Craig Misfelt lived there and Mark Freeman lived there. We all ended up kind of being friends a little bit. We, I used to skateboard right there. They got video of me skating off that. Uh, I guess it's like a, uh, a walkway or something. It's not a, well, it's a walkway, but it's like a staircase from the sidewalk. It's doing like, I was trying to ollie off that. I think I landed a few tricks. Actually, Craig Misfelt has footage of me skating at the, uh, the old library, the old Fort Worth library that they closed down. There was a little rail thing that you could, you could go up on and try to skate it, it was kind of crazy. It's like a little guard thing, a little piece of metal that they put on this little railing thing. It was kind of crazy. I'm sure if, if anything happens, I'll probably just try to sell the footage on YouTube. I don't care, I give him permission. I give him, uh, this is like a vocal agreement kind of thing. But you know, if he sells it, just get in touch with me if it really goes viral.
All right, next one's 1024, 1 1.7. This one's going to Preservation Hall. If we keep down this way, we'll get to the Palm Reader over here and pass the Palm Reader eventually. I don't know exactly where. Uh, so yeah, the muffler went crazy. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. But I think the Palm Reader's on the other side of Allen. Anyway, preservation halls over down this way. So I see Woody Allen. Yeah, this is where the skate people are. Fire station, skate park. Come. Preservation Hall. Oh, okay. It's Fire Station Community Center. It's probably why it's called Fire Station Park, and that's probably Preservation Hall. Okay, so that's Preservation Hall. And then right over here is a skate park. Pretty interesting. All right, looks like this is Fire Station Park. This new skate park that's, it looks like a huddle of teenagers. So that's why it's called Fire Station Park, because there's a Fire Station Community Center right behind it. So it's a community outreach program. Isn't that something? I thought it was an old fire station. It's not. There's a... Uh, maybe the, the community center might have been. I don't know. Oh, and that means right down here from the community center is a palm reader. Not too far from the fire station park. There's the palm reader. All right, so hopefully we head back. Do a little sweep up. There's some fire station park skateboarders right in the middle of the median doing their skateboard thing. I found something I wanted to talk about. You know, I talk a lot about vloggers, real popular ones. But I found this, um, I'm gonna get more information on it before I talk about it. It's coming out of Seattle. It's about a guy that's running a show a long time ago. He ran it on a video camera through probably a small public access, maybe. I don't know if he borrowed the public access television station but it, it's like an obsession supposedly with Kurt Cobain and, and how his life ended and the guy uh, it's all genius <laughs> because the, the theme never changes I don't know the guy's name I, I, I have to go and do the research on it I think I think the the television station station starts with a K is all I know K C something but this is all happening mostly between 1994-ish till present but the video of course is all mostly in the 90s and it shows it just shows the 90s through Nirvana's music and an and obsession with Kurt Cobain but I'm not going to say any names or anything but I, I found it and I've been watching it studying it like what is this it doesn't have a tremendous amount of views. Some of them are only a thousand views and stuff. Some of them are like 500 views, but it's a steady flow of the same kind of material all done with a video camera. This was before YouTube. This was more in the nineties. It's all been released kind of like Lynn Ender stuff, but way more, way more in depth. And, and, um, I guess you could call it investigative journalism. Even Courtney love is on it. The real Courtney love. She's, she's, she gets interviewed by the guy. I'm not going to say any names or anything like that, um, but it's art. I don't know if he was trying to be 
a journalist, but if that's what he was trying to do, he turned into an artist because it's all, this is, I don't even know the genre. I couldn't name the documentary. Television, journalism, obsession with Kurt Cobain and him possibly being murdered, investigation. He goes before County uh, Hall. This is a documentary waiting to be released. I don't know when it'll be released. I don't know if I would be able to get with some people to, to get a little bit, a little bit of money. I'd have to get in touch with the filmmaker though. He's a very interesting personality. But it's definitely going to be a documentary. Uh, it's an ongoing, what you would, what you would be looking at if you find it, and I'll, I'll probably talk about it later. I've been watching it every once in a while. But what you'll be looking at is the dailies. You'll be looking at the dailies. So it's a, it's kind of like, whoa, this is a lot of information. It goes on for like an hour. And it's him sitting behind a desk sometimes or just at the television station that he's on. He does a lot of um, green screen stuff. And it's all wrapped around Kurt Cobain and, and his possible murder is what he believes. Um, you just have to check it out. You have to find it yourself on YouTube. I'm not going to get any specifics yet. I got to get the names. I got to find out what it is. I'm studying it. It looks like raw footage. Uh, now, there's probably a lot of this stuff surfacing on YouTube. Even I have some stuff that's on video that I haven't really released that's in lock boxes and things that I have to keep track with, of. It's almost like we're these filmmakers that we carry along. A long time ago, the filmmakers would carry along their 35 millimeter to the point where the 35 millimeter in the prints would become, uh, you know, they would they would start to degrade. Fortunately, because of video and digital, it stays relatively um, preserved. It's it's actually preserved stuff coming out of Seattle. Anyway, I'll. I'll I want to say that the, the, the radio, all I'm going to say is the television station starts with a K. Chris Brown played tonight. We don't, I don't know anything about Chris Brown. But he played tonight. Um, I'm sure you probably know about Chris Brown. I, I wouldn't go off on Chris Brown. I don't I don't know his music that well. I'd have to listen to it first. But I, I probably have listened to it. And he had a pretty good turnout at Dickie's. Dickie's seems to be the hot spot. Anyway, this is Fort Worth. Not signing out yet on the Please Subscribe show. This vlog not over. Um, anyway, got to get back to sweeping up. And then hopefully, um, I don't know if I run another one. Oh, gosh, I don't know how I'm going to be able to sweep up if we do. Give it time. Arrival at 1057, 7, 3.1. Well, it looks like we have Rockwood go-karts and they're going at it. Not 1030, no 1052. Go round in a circle. Rockwood go-karts and mini golf. Round in a circle. Golf, golf, golf. You're all the way from Colorado. Good kitty. Good job. I saw him way over there. That's why I kind of, I kind of take it, my philosophy in the matter is to take it kind of slow, you know. For one thing, it's the right thing to do. And also cats like it too. They make it across the street in a lot of cases. I did have one in Carrollton come up under the car one time. It was a very sad thing. I think I was working for Uber Eats at the time. GPS shows it like right over here, but it's actually 960 Talbot, and it's over on the other end. It's like the building through here. These are real tricky, by the way. Um, I don't know why they make this curve the way they do right there.
but they do, and it's just very obnoxious to the point where I don't really <laughs> want to deal with like these places. But you have to be like really careful. They make this, I guess, to save room. Dude. It's hard to show it. You can barely get around. It's around there. Okay. There's a cyber truck. Supposedly connected to Elon Musk. Cyber truck. really not supposed to run the orders this late because if after after work it's more time than what they allot for and for what they reward for it's actually all right finally found them I wrote the wrong apartment number on there, so I was running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Because I wrote the wrong number on there. I finally went over to that area and she heard me and opened the door. And I was like, well, the ticket says this. Elon Musk is his name, right? That's the cyber truck. Yeah. Once you see true horror and terror, which I saw in New York City, you start to think you want people not to have that kind of attitude over a goal that they may have, you know? It's better to help others than to give to others and put yourself third. So God first, others second, yourself third. It's hard to do though. It takes a lot of care and a lot of strength to put yourself third. It really does. But when you see that many people in trouble and there's nothing that you can do about it, you realize what's important in life. God. God is important in life. You start to realize, regardless of the structure and the symbol of things, and what things possibly represent. It's not this world that we have to answer to. It's the next world. Oh.